Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypt of the Necrodancer. After five years, it's just had a new content DLC released with three new characters, and this is one of them. I think it's Suzu. Suzu, yes. So there's Clarinetta, Shanta, and Suzu. So we're going to take Suzu out for a ride here on the All Zones mode, try and get ourselves a victory. The thing to note is that with our weapon, anytime that we get a kill, we will. I'm going to steal both of these things. Anytime that we get a kill, we will charge to the end of the room. And then, oh god, I hate. Uh, I will charge to the end of the room and kill anything that was in our path, regardless of how much health it has. So we've got two cursed hearts there. If we can heal with food past the value of their health, we can make them permanent hearts. But we're going to need to find some food to do that. Our headband is showing us all of the enemies on the screen. Now, we're going to take a quick detour to the shop just to see if there's anything that we want to purchase. And if we need to save up for it. I'll take a basic torch. Will I? No, I'll take the chest. Temporary shield. An adequate scroll. So you see just floating above us there is a familiar version of the shopkeeper. If there is a pile of gold worth at least 25 gold on the ground and we get the shopkeeper companion to stand over it, then we will heal for one half heart's worth of health. This is a terrible place to be. So I got myself trapped into the corner with that dragon. Should have used my shield scroll. That would have been the smart thing to do. But we press on. This wants me to eat near it. To do that, we're going to need to find some food. I do hate bats, though. There's a barrel there. That could have food in it. What are you? I've never seen that guy in my life. He stole my scroll. All right, let's get going again. Normally, there's one of those that appears. And then, after appearing, will uh, it will appear if there is a big pile of gold on the ground. And then steal the gold and try and run away. But I've never seen one that will try to take items from you definitely worth knowing about. So you see that we killed the skeleton with three health outright just by dashing through it. Let's get the rest of this gold and then we can lap round. We can see all of the walls thanks to our special torch. So it also gives us a full view on the mini-map of every area and secret area. I will take both of these things. No, I won't. I already had a good torch, you fool. But the pack will let us hold one extra standard item. So each zone has... Oh, God. Each zone has three stages and then a boss. And there are five zones in total, I believe. I don't know if the game expects us... Oh god. 
come away from there. I don't know if the game expects us to beat a mini boss. Uh, brain. A full boss at the end of the campaign. Can you please come onto this line with the barrel? I want to dash through this skeleton. And because we dashed through the barrel, the barrel broke. So now we have a shop token. It's going to allow us to get something for free. What I would like to do, if possible, is kill that guy to let us in here. And then we can get three free bombs. Then we can block this wall. Gonna have to be quick about it. What do we have up here? Crown of teleportation? Sure. We're not gonna get out of here fast enough. Are we? One beat to spare. Right. Check the shop first. Lose my combo because obviously I'm talking and therefore my rhythm is terrible. That's gonna be my excuse anyway. Did that so that the skeleton with three health would die instantly. Let's see what's in this chest. Restore two health. Love to see it. We can take one hit before that becomes super necessary. Right. I hate bats. I hate bats so much. No idea what that barrel had in it. Probably just cash, I imagine. That's a mimic. Right. Someone just stole a pile of gold. There they go. Now, I would really like to catch them, but odds are I'm not going to be able to. But we got them with a bomb. So now that charm, I think, will protect me from bats. Because bats have random RNG on which way they move. But now... Unless they have no other option to do so, they will always move into a tile further away from me. Which is lovely. Right. Give me that gold. Let's get out of there. Check, first of all, this empty space. We've got a torch already, thanks very much. I can probably charge through an enemy into that piece of wall. Cast fireball spell, that's good. We have a pack to hold it as well. Right, we want to do this space in the left. Inside there is a potion to let us respawn once. So we're going to have to kite an enemy away. To break in. That was a bit more adventurous than I was planning, but all's well that ends well. Unfortunately, no. Oh god, right. A hell of teleportation saved us from being hit, and instead we teleported to the shop. Glass store. Don't want any of that, thanks. Still don't need to eat our um, cheese yet. Oh god, okay, well, that's bad. There goes my freaking potion because I'm bad. 
Right, this will be fun. I'm so bad. Right, that's probably the worst boss fight I've ever had. But we made it. Down to area two. Some more bombs, a mimic wall. Right, that guy's chasing after us now, except they're stuck behind a mushroom that they cannot shift. Right, we have heavy armor on, so they can't... That was not what I wanted. They can't move us with their magic. Let's check the shop. Gladly take a freeze um, familiar. Now my commentary is all over the place. Oh, that's why... The reason why they weren't charging through to me is because there was a mimic hidden. Alright, let's keep moving. Cash here. I don't know what's making that grinding noise. Multiple mushrooms working out of sync of one another. Uh, okay, we have a headpiece. If we get 10 kills, we will get some healing now. That does include the little mushrooms. But I think I'm just going to head down. Yeah, the cat time is running out. Right. So, we really want to get 10 kills. Oh yeah. That was 10 kills, or our 10th kill. So we have healed a bit. This is great. Give me that. Give me that. Eat. We now have full health again with 4 HP. What else would I like to see? A ring of damage, some boots of damage. Plus one damage and hit protection. I mean, that's great. No idea how long that hit protection will last. I'm grateful to have it. Right, this is going to be our boss here because it's the end part of the floor. God, I can't keep up with the dashes. Okay gonna crack a bomb right there that is the shop to sell stuff in and i'm not interested in selling any of what i have i should just blow this up rather than trying to get smart about it. Yeah, let's just blow it up. It's got a monkey in it, because of course it does. Alright, 
Right, back to full health. I'm going to kite that guy away from the stairs. Grab these last six coins. That's bad. Alright, could have been worse. Could have been better, but could have been worse. Blow that up. Uh, yes. I want to bomb this guy, but I can't remember what the pattern for bombing it is. There you go. Right, I'm going to take the cookies first. Heal. Now, the next thing that I eat will give me max HP. So, I don't really want it to be a cookie, because cookies offer 1 HP. Oh, my plus 1 damage shield is gone, which makes sense. Shields aren't forever. That is way more crowded than I would like. Get out of there, thanks. There's a drumstick. You see we gained loads of max HP there. Right, I would like to check the shop because we have loads of money. Also, like a better shovel of some kind, but I'd also like this spell. Right, that's on left trigger. Now oh, that would have been even better than the cookies or the chicken that I ate, but it's fine. I don't think we're going to get to the stairs, but it's not the end of the world if we don't. Oh, we got there. Coral Riff! Get my rhythm. Right, it's going to be a nightmare for dashing as the enemies spawn. Case in point. Bad. All right, our pulse magic saved us. No perfect, but it's fine. Oh, it's busy in here. It's always busy in here. All right, so the fire on the ground results in us being burnt we do anything while stood on it that isn't just moved off of it. So if we're stood on fire and we try and dig, then we get burnt under our feet. Let's see what the shop has. Alright, I will take some glass slippers. They're not going to last very long. The glass slippers protect our feet from the bad stuff beneath us. And there they go. Destroyed. Do we just leave? I think we just leave. Oh, there's a chest and a barrel there. Let's eat those. Oh my god. I hate 
everything. Let's blow this up to see what we get out of it. Alright, can you tell this has gone badly? Right. I would like all my stuff back, please. We have a ring of darkness. Luminous torch helps a tiny bit. Here's the other stuff I was hoping to find along the way. Bomb charm, sure. Throwing stars, okay. Right, let's go left and up, shall we? I will take any ring from you now, please. We do get to steal stuff, which is fun. Because he can't see us in the dark, which is, like, the only benefit. this quartz armor i'll take it reduces all damage taken down to one rather than any other value right, where are those stairs there they are all right shop again right here and the blue dot on the map if you hadn't noticed that's bad time so we need to get to the purple dot in the lower right corner There's something here uh, transmogrify spell transmute spell go transmute the thing in the shop Ring of gold, I will take it over a ring of darkness every time. Right, we're not the healthiest, but at least we can see again. Minus cap, I'm not going to take. Our bomb was extra big there because we have the bomb charm, which means... We are, oh god, yeah that was rough, um, it means we are immune to bombs and they have a bigger area of effect, but unfortunately we got wrecked, let's go for one more, we did reasonably well that time, uh, down to continue, quick restart, alright last run of the day. Yeah, when the uh, whole level, or like when the dash sends you to the entire other side of the level, tiny, tiny bit overwhelming. Also, very abundantly aware that... Oh, that's a mimic. Sunglasses. So all of our enemies are silhouettes. But we have plus one damage now. Bouncing off of this arrow trap here. Uh, yeah, we can't swap our weapon. We must always be equipped with this dashing blade. Okay, well, we dashed onto the staircase, so we're straight out of there. What do you have here? Bomb? I'll take it. There's the dragon. I oh know, it's the bull. Making shorter work of that thanks to our sunglasses. 
plus 0.5 defense is fine. What are you doing there with a pair of eyes glowing in the dark? Uh, I do not want that shrine. That shrine produces an unstable rhythm that you then have to follow. Ow. Need some food again already. And I keep dashing all the way to the other side of where I would ideally like to be. Come back, come back this way. Come back this way. Alright. Don't then. Uh, this is a given, because then we can do that and steal this. That is unlimiting holding. The only problem sometimes is it's hard to necessarily cycle to the exact item you might want. Go find the stairs. Damn it. Okay, start on the top right. Alright, bomb charm again. Where is the boss? So that ring there will cause us to die in one hit. But we have half a heart anyway. So now what we need to do is transmogrify this ring. Oh yeah, we have safe bombs. What is that shield? Shove attack, hit protection. Interesting. I'll take the extra health as well, although it's probably not going to help us whilst we've got this ring on. Yeah, no. Did not help me. Alright, well... That is the new, one of the new characters from Crypt of the Necrodancer. I will probably revisit this to try and get my wins because I want the achievements to match many of the others that I have in this game. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.